is going on ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks. The only mask channel that has Tim Hortons and Harold around even when you don't know it. And in today's video we are unboxing a very, very special mask that I've been waiting years for. Now it does happen every once in a while but not very often that we get a mask that I have been waiting years and years and years for. And today is one of those days so I am genuinely excited. I've been on the hunt for one of these for a very long time and I could have gotten some off of eBay or from other collectors but I just didn't want to pay the collector price. I wanted to score one in the wild and get it for a good deal and add it to my collection because it's really the thrill of the hunt with this hobby anyways. Yes, I enjoy owning a lot of the things that I do, but once you get them, it really does just take away a piece of the fun. So you're just kind of stuck there with that piece. There's just an entire aspect of the hobby that is missing once you acquire something. So it is what it is. I think most collectors out there that have scored something they've been after for a very long time know exactly what I'm talking about. Yes, it feels great to have the item, but I don't know how to explain it. So we We've got a package here from uh, Justin Howley who hit me up via email and asked if what he found was a vintage brute. And after checking out the photos, it definitely is and it might be the nicest copy I've ever seen. So he picked it up from the antique store that he was at. He paid an entire $25 for it, which means that I paid $25 for it plus the shipping that it took to get here. So you could definitely say I got a great deal. Now I thought he was only sending the brute, but it does look like there's some other stuff in here and this is a pretty large package. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that there's some other stuff in here. Looks like this is the brute, so I will set that to the side and we will look over some of the other stuff he sent first. We've got an Evil Dead 2 ash toy there. Super fucking cool, love some Evil Dead, who doesn't? That is pretty rad. Can't go wrong with a deadite. We've got, I don't know what this is actually. I'm gonna set this box down and we'll take a look here. Damn, a big old Frankenstein. This looks old, but at the same time it doesn't. So uh, I don't know who is the maker, but it looks pretty fucking rad. Big old Frank head. And then we've got a uh, sick, an odorous Urungus mask. And I think, yes, this is. I have one of these. So I do have one of these already. It's actually right over there in my living room and I've got it displayed with my real odorous gauntlets. And these are the old official odorous Urungus masks because they're for a short time. The slave pit was trying to do like mass produced masks that they could sell. I don't think that that ended up going over so well. I'm not sure what the story behind that is, but these were official odorous Urungus masks and now they're kind of looked down upon in the guar hobby for whatever reason but I think they're fucking sick and uh, definitely looks like it was modeled after like war party odorous and I'm not sure who the maker was I think the slave pit went through someone else for these but yeah super fucking cool definitely happy to add that to my collection and it's got a slightly different paint job than my other ones so even side by side they're gonna look different so that's fucking rad can't believe you sent all these little extras man so now on to the main piece here is my vintage brute I've only seen one shot of this, so I'm super excited to see it in person, and uh, I'm going to let you guys take the first look at it. How's he look? Is he big, dumb, and ugly? Yes, he is. Holy shit, Dix, this thing is in fucking perfect shape. Absolutely gorgeous fucking condition. Honestly, this is the best copy I've ever seen, and I thought so looking at the photo that he sent, but seeing it in person, this thing is next level. Definitely happy to add this to my collection. So for those of you that don't know, this is actually a Michael Myers mask. If you're familiar with the Halloween series, you probably recognize it, but for those of you that don't, this was used in Halloween 5. There is another character named Michael who is Tina's boyfriend, and he is wearing this mask, scares him, blah, blah, blah. A little bit later in the movie, he gets killed and Michael Myers goes and picks up Tina. Tina, you fat lard, come get some dinner. And he is wearing this mask to disguise himself. And since his name is Michael, it's just kind of funny that she's like yelling at him and hitting him in the face and calling him Michael. So this is a pretty sought after mask for hardcore Halloween fans. As I mentioned earlier, I've been on the hunt for one of these for a very, very long time, probably six years, maybe longer. And also, as I mentioned earlier, I probably could have gotten one for a few hundred dollars, but I did not want to pay that price. I wanted to score one in the wild. And with the help of one of my viewers, Mr. Justin, thank you very much, I was able to do so. And I've got a gorgeous copy here that I'm definitely happy with. And I don't know what the deal is, but it seems like every single time I do some sort of update video and I mention not being able to find a certain mask, that mask walks into my life. It happened with vintage clowns. I literally made a video explaining the difference between new school clowns and vintage clowns. And I said in that video that I would never be able to track down a vintage clown. And like a week later, I was able to get one. Then I made my Oddball Myers video just a few weeks ago and said that I was still on the hunt for one of these. And what do you know, I get a message 
message later that week saying that someone has found me one. So that is super fucking awesome. And I guess I need to start saying that I'm never going to have a million dollars. So yeah, I think that's going to just about do it for today's video. Vintage West German Brute, or Brutal Guy, or Brutello, however you guys want to say it. He's had a few names over the years. Halloween 5, definitely stoked on this. Huge thank you to Justin for this and all the other goodies. I definitely appreciate that, man. I've just got awesome supporters out there, so thank you very, very much. As always, I'm going to end this video showing off this mask and the other stuff that he sent in, and that'll be that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Thank you very, very much, and until next time, we will see you later.